this week on Ask Needham, we're going to dive more into the MSP managed services and talk about the software and licensing that's included. So make sure you join us. Hey guys, welcome to another week of Ask Needham. Angel, we're in the middle of a hurricane. Yes, Hurricane Now Tropical Storm Michael is mm. coming through South Carolina. Yeah, it's actually passed through Columbia. Um, we want to just make sure we, we say, uh, you know, prayers to the families that are affected by the hurricane. Um, our best wishes are with you guys and hope, uh, hope everything goes, goes okay with you guys. And that you build and repair just as, as quickly as possible. Um, it's definitely devastating. It definitely is. So what do we got on the schedule for this week? Okay, so this week we, uh, we're going to retouch more specifically on the MSP managed services. Mm -hmm. um, a few episodes back, we talked about what all is included. Make sure and you guys watch those uh, and uh, like and subscribe to those. Uh, we talked about pricing and what managed services was, right? Absolutely, right. and, and we those. are going to speak more specifically on the overall umbrella of included licensing and software so if you would please elaborate on yeah. some of that yeah so um most the kind of most providers do it one of two ways they either don't include the software or they do uh, we are the kind that do we think just one monthly bill is a lot easier for our clients to kind of have um, and uh, we look at those things and we typically include like office 365 or google apps or g suite now is what it's called um, or we'll in, and, and we'll also include uh, something like uh, your antivirus software your security software uh, your email protection, user training, we'll include that for fish, fish threat and stuff like that. We'll do ah. all of that and that's included typically. Okay. Um, and when we do that, you know, we're not charging them any more than if we build them out right for it. Uh, we're just able to break the payments out so when they lose or, or gain employees, the, their bill can fluctuate with that. Okay, so you're saying if I have 25 employees and I go down to 23, that instead of paying that annual amount up front, which would lock me in at 25, I only have 23, so why pay for 25? Yep. With a monthly, we can, there is, I guess, a grace period mm -hmm. where you can go ahead and let your provider know in advance yep. that I only have 23. Yeah, so your, your licensing can change as your employee count changes. And it fluctuates, so that yeah. saves you money. So yeah. that's definitely a benefit in the monthly. Yeah, we, we don't want, I mean, we don't want to bill a client for too much, uh, especially if they don't need it. And we find that most uh, small business owners can handle a slight increase or slight decrease in the bill versus having to pay a lot of money uh, for an annual fee or a three-year fee or something like that. Right, okay. So, yeah, so, so again, most of them include, most of them don't. The ones that don't, uh, will typically just charge you for the services and then you'll pay annually or even monthly for the services and those will come directly out of your credit card payment or whatever, however they were. You'll, you'll pay Microsoft directly, or you'll pay Adobe directly, or you'll pay whoever directly uh, or you'll pay the vendor an extra fee on top of the managed services for the licensing. Okay, so it sounds to me as if it would make more sense to keep everything honed in to one reoccurring amount so that you can budget appropriately and allocate resources to other to yeah. other means um, based on what you have maybe left over from those two users that we're not going to be charged for. Yeah, because I mean, most business owners, as much as we'd like to think that we have everything kind of under control, a lot of times in the smaller businesses, we don't even have a budget. And so we really, we're just kind of riding by the seat of our pants. We're just on. winging it until you, know, you yeah, know. Just, they have no idea. I mean, right. like one month to the next, we're just like holding on, especially when you're starting off or even a couple of years in, you're still holding on trying to make every dollar count. Right. And so if I come up to you with a $3,000 bill for security software or whatever the bill is, you're going to be like, oh, where am I that? pulling $3,000 from right now? Exactly. And yeah. so it's much easier to kind of do have these really micro transactions throughout the year. So you're not necessarily saving anything by doing a monthly, nor are you paying any more. Mm -hmm. It's just literally a different way for exactly allocating right. your monthly cost versus an annual cost. Okay, exactly right, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. So yeah, so I mean, like I said, we'll include or depend on the provider or not include it. Just make sure you know what you're getting when you're going to one of these uh, kind of agreements. Ah, okay, and that's normally discussed in the 
consult when we sit down for the first time. Ask those questions when you're sitting down with your IT provider and say, hey, what's included? Am I going to feel like I'm getting nickel and dime for the software? You know, and, and if they do or they don't, it just, just know. Just, just know what they're going to do. That way you're prepared and you're not going to be surprised because we don't, really don't want surprises, at least a really uncomfortable conversation. Not a $3,000 surprise for sure. <laughs> that's, right. Um, that's right. So that is everything that's included? Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. Well, goodness, that's a lot simpler than I anticipated. Well, try so, to make it that way. Yeah, absolutely. So great. Well, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in this week. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe us. Uh, if you have any questions out there, make sure you ask us. Uh, no dumb questions. Yeah, there's no dumb questions. Uh, make sure you include your business name uh, if you want. Uh, we'll get back to you. Uh, we just want to hear a shout out from you guys, like or dislike, whichever way. Uh, and if you've got any questions, make sure you ask us. Uh, until next week, you guys have a great week. And stay safe from all these hurricanes and tropical <laughs> storms, guys. Bye now.